Hey everybody, it's Suzanne Evans from SuzanneEvans.org and I'm here with my good friend, Lou Melnick. Hey there. From Sage Event Management. Event and Management, sorry, keep going. <laughs> and we wanna bring you just a few tidbits about great events. I hear from you guys all the time, I wanna do an event, and for most of you, you shouldn't start out with a three-day event or no. a massive event, right? You should look at doing a half-day event or a maybe a one-day event. One day, half day, yes. definitely, yeah. But a local event is really where you should start. And I think for the most part, many people never do it because they're like, the logistics are a nightmare. Tell us just the few simple things you need to do to pull off a good event. Well, I mean, that's a really good question. There's, there's a few things that you have to do to put together a really good, solid first event. First off, one of the things that I would recommend you do is focus on well, really two things primarily. One, good content. All right, you really want to deliver good content. That is your primary, primary, primary responsibility over the course of a half day or a full day event. Deliver life-changing, transformational content. And I want to add something to that. Most people get obsessed with how will I make an offer or how will I sell. The best sales is really great content. Exactly. Because great content actually sells you. And in the end, at the end of a half day or a full day event, the bottom line is you need your attendees to have bought into you. And great content achieves that. So that's, that's number one. That's the yep. first thing. Um, number two, the second thing you, of course, have to focus on is butts in seats, right? So great marketing and, you know, a good a sequence leading into the live event. Maybe you just need to get on the phone and call people, right? Maybe that's what you're doing. We actually just worked with somebody that we said, do an event, do a free event, and in about 15 minutes, they got three people committed to Exactly, the event. they just got on the phone right there during the day that we Called were doing their list. And, and went to it. So that's one way that you could do it. But butts and seats and content, those are two things that are really, really important to focus on. Um, and from there, if it's, it, you know, if it's a half day event, you really don't need to worry too much about the space. Pay as little as you possibly can. Um, get the space that fits the amount of people that you're trying to achieve. And I mean, aim realistic. Don't say, all right, I'm gonna throw a thousand people into a room when you have a list of a thousand people, right? I mean, that's, that's just, that's not good math. It's not good math. It's not good math, right? So aim for numbers that are achievable, um, that'll make you feel good, and that'll also Create a great environment, because that's the other thing that you need, is a really good environment for learning, um, a good environment for networking, because part of the live event experience for your attendees is to be able to network with each other and get some value there as well. Whether it's a half day or a full day, um, you know, that's part of the event process. A absolutely, and the other thing that I would just add is that when you're looking at creating a really great environment, you can have an event with 10 people and you can sit them in a horseshoe and it'd be very, very intimate. That could be your first event. Or you could choose to put 50 or 100 people in a room and do what's a very traditional classroom style experience. People see events like My Be The Change or other folks events in their industry and they go, oh, I could never do an event. You know, I can't put six or 700 people in a room and um, the cost of that. Think about how to start. 10 people around a boardroom table can be a great first event. Just realize, and it's actually your partner, Barry, that always says this, and I think it's brilliant, what's the why? Yep. Why are you doing this? What's the reason to do it? So as long as you're clear about your why and you match your content, your environment, and your butts and seats to that why, do your first event. Don't wait because it really is the single best way to make money and get people connected to you and to know you better so that you can make more sales. Absolutely. Nothing beats a live experience. Absolutely. So, Blue Melnick and Barry Baumgartner from Sage Event Management, just my humble opinion, but the only event management uh, folks out there for doing live events, whether they're one days or three days. And just think about what you can take from this little clip. Don't wait, don't be nervous, give it a shot. Start small, grow big. Events are the best way to generate revenue. See you next time. Bye for now. And please do cut that bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>